completely honest, softball, um, I've coached basketball, girls basketball and baseball for the last two years. The softball girls um, worked better than any team I've ever coached at Northview, and that's no knock on any of the other teams I've coached, but there was um, a cohesiveness from the seniors, the juniors, even the sophomores and the freshmen that I'd not seen in any of the sports I'd coached. Um, everyone got along. It seemed like all the girls even hung out outside of practice, which sometimes is rare. Um, but just the fact that you guys all got along uh, made practice run a lot smoother and it made games you know, that much more impressive because you guys all really cared to, to pull for one another. So that was kind of cool. This season was much different than last year um, in a positive way, of course. I think you can testify to that. Girls uh, just seem to like each other. There's a lot more caring about each other, a lot more dugout activities going on as far as cheering for each other when we're out there in the field or up to bat here at the dugout. Everybody was very supportive. Coaching staff, I think, worked great together. It was fun. I think one of my most memorable moments was when we beat Mill Creek and they were the defending state champions of last year, so that was really exciting. And I had a good time with everyone on the field. I had good moments with about everyone, especially Morgan in right field, trying to figure out where, where she was throwing or if she was throwing to me, so I just decided to yell at her really loud. It's definitely hard to leave. It's been really fun the past four years, especially this last year. Um, any advice for the next years? Probably just have fun play hard and practice hard, keep everything, all your personal problems off the field. I didn't realize how little about softball I actually knew. When I signed on, you know, with Coach Como and Coach Payne in August, um, you know, I know how to teach girls to, to field, I know how to teach people to, to work on their hitting, but I didn't know anything about bunt coverages and slap hitting and outfielders coming in to cover bases on bunts and what I know nothing about those rotations in softball, so it was a learning experience for me. Um, which was kind of neat being with that JV team because those freshmen and sophomore uh, girls were picking up just as much as I bet I was. I was real impressed. As our, we started off the season real tough. Remember, we went in a tournament, we played very well, and then we kind of had a down. And we were, we're losing those close games, which was kind of kind of heartbreaking in a sense. But we've made it stronger, and, and what's great about it, we peaked at the end of the season. Our defense was phenomenal in the last week and a half, two weeks of the season. I mean, I don't think we made an error. You know, the JV level is a little different because you want to fine-tune skills that they might not have that you know, once they get to the varsity level, it's going to be expected of them. So you fine-tune those skills, and then once they learn the game, hopefully one year, two years down the road, that, you know, they can, um, they can help out at the, at the highest level. After successes from both the JV and varsity teams, next year's girls look promising to fill the gaps left by the six seniors that will be graduating this year. Good luck next year, ladies.